Now, right now, the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School Board meeting today to talk about safety in the classroom. From a guardianship program to more 911 operators, there are a lot of topics being discussed right now. Local tenants Andrew Perez joining us live from Sunrise to break everything down for us. Andrew? So there's actually a lot to unpack here. The MSD commission meeting, it's going to be going on all day long till about 530. I want to go ahead and send you inside, though, get you caught up on what's been happening. Again, this is a meeting of law enforcement officials, school leaders, lawmakers. I mean, that list goes on and on. They've been meeting ever since the Parkland school shooting to analyze information from that tragedy, as well as other mass tragedies to try and come up with policy changes, standards, new school security measures. Keep in mind. This is all happening while the MSD school shooter is in court for the penalty phase of his trial. We heard about several issues today, though, including an update on the Broward County communication system. BSO deputies who responded to MSD that day said that they were hampered by faulty radios, bad information, calls were transferred or put on hold. Even more recently, we've been reporting on issues plaguing 911 call centers in Broward due in part to severe staff shortages. But overall, the sheriff says he still thinks BSO should be running communications for all of Broward, not share that responsibility with the county. You cannot get past the bureaucratic structure of government that exists with two different entities and non-elected officials on one side, a single elected sheriff, and then a county administrator. It didn't work that way in the past. This organization has managed communications handle it effectively, have built it. There is a transition into a regional uh, program, so to speak. All of that is still up in the air. Several issues to talk about here, too. We're going to have more in later editions of Local 10 News. That's the latest here in Sunrise, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.